Hello class, this is section 3.1 and in this video we are going to work out an example where our second order homogeneous linear equation has constant coefficients. In other words, there's no x dependence anywhere. So let's consider this, um, this example. So we just have y double prime minus y prime minus 2y equals 0. So remember that the trick in when we are facing a problem of this form is to write down our solution in the form of an exponential, y equals erx. So remember that y prime is going to be r erx, y double prime is just going to be r squared erx. Plugging that all in, we get that r squared erx minus r erx minus 2 erx is going to be equal to 0. And again, um, erx is always non-zero, so we can divide out the entire equation by erx without any worries to get this. So we need to solve for r, and this is a simple application of the quadratic formula. r equals minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac extend the square root that way, over 2a. Alright, so this gives us two solutions. One is going to be one, okay, it's 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus plus 8, 9 over 2. So we have one solution. r1 is just going to be, um, so this is going to be 1 plus minus 3 over 2. So r1 is just going to be 2 and r2 is just going to be minus 1. So these are our two solutions. And this leads to two linearly independent solutions for y, um, because y equals uh, erx. So y1 is equal to e2x, and y2 is equal to e minus 1x. And our general solution to uh, the differential equation y double prime minus y prime minus 2y equals 0 is, um, I like boxing the general solution, it's going to be y equals the first parameter c1 e2x plus c2 e minus x. Okay, And if the problem just asks for a general solution, that's enough. But let's ask and initial condition as well. So let's say that we have, uh, this is an initial value problem. So we have instead y not equals 4. Now here's the thing about these problems in a second order world, is that we actually need two pieces of information, the value at y and some value of the derivative. So let's say y prime of 1 equals equal 11. So if we have also this extra information, we can find a specific solution. Okay. So y not equals 4 and y prime not equals 11. So let's use that information. Since y not is equal to 4, we have that, and so this basically means that um, x equals 0 and y equals 4, when y equals 4, we just plug that in to the general solution. We have 4 equals to c1 e to the 0 plus c2 e to the 0. So it means that 4 equals c1 plus c2. That's the first step in our, the first piece of information we have. And we also have a second piece of information, y prime of 0 equals to 11. So since y prime of 0 is equal to 11, this means that when x equals 0, y prime is equal to 11, and um, so we can multiply this, but der der take the derivative of this equation to get y prime equals to c1 2e2x plus c2 minus 1e minus x, okay, taking the derivative of both sides there, and we can then apply our information over here, so y prime is equal to 11, when x is equal to 0, so this is c1 times 2 times e to the 0, 
plus c2 times minus 1 to the e to 0. Is this going to be equal to 1, both of them? So you have 11 equals 2c1 plus minus c2. Let's change that to a minus, make things a bit easier. Minus c2. Okay. So we have um, our two pieces of information here. We have this equation and this equation. So two equations in two variables means you can solve for c1 and c2. So um, let's call this let's call this one and let's call this two. Okay. And um, so one plus two gives us the equation fifteen equals 3c1, because the c2 is cancelled out, c2 minus c2 cancels out, and this gives us c1 equals to 5, but if c1 equals 5, um, this implies that from equation 2, that 11 equals 2 times 5 minus c2, so C2 is equal to 1. Oh wait, no it's not. It's equal to minus 1. So we have our solution here. Um, our solution is going to be C1 equals 5, C2 equals minus 1. And thus our specific solution We are going to take the general solution here. Our general solution was a C1 e2x plus C2 e minus x. So we simply have i equals 5 e2x, that's our C1 in the general solution, plus minus 1 e minus x. And that is our specific solution for our problem, given that initial data.